Next, the last query is, and the seventh one is to build a dashboard. So now let us go to tab view. So, and whatever the symbol for uh, squares you have, which looks like something like a table, is your new dashboard. You can directly cl click here or you will find dashboard, new dashboard. If you just click, you'll be able to see this is our dashboard area where we can create. So here we have options to create a dashboard for uh, the regular windows and for your uh, phone also. But as we are using the uh, version which is available only for uh, public version which we'll be using in the lab so we will we'll only able to do which for windows okay so what we will do is just go to size go to size select automatic so why i am getting these many options is i am using the paid version so that is why uh, i am able to see these many options for you it is something like uh, You'll get um, for, so I'll just take the entire window. Uh, for the public version, you'll be having three options. Uh, that is the range, automatic, okay, and customize. You always choose automatic so that the full entire screen is selected. And at the bottom, you have, okay, you have show dashboard title which will give you the title for the dashboard. I'll just name the title as Analysis of Revenue in Sales Dataset. Just change the color. Okay, so many things you can do however we have done. So this will give you the title. Then I have named my sheets here. You can see. Oops, so all the sheets are available. I'll just drag and drop each sheet. Okay. So that I'll be able to. So first it will select the entire area when I uh, dragged the first time. Okay. The same. Okay. Next I'll drag my next bar chart onto this area so it will show you multiple areas where you can drag then i'll choose the first half for donut for butterfly i'll choose the second half of this particular chart okay so likewise you can arrange your uh, graph so i'll just move this I, I can just select an individual chart and reduce the size of that particular chart also Okay, I want some space for my last profitable and non-profitable status. So I'll just move this. Okay. I'll just choose that particular area. So that. Okay, you can see this is how a particular graph something looks like. Okay, all the filters whichever we have used is also available here. So... Whenever you create some dashboards like this, so you can also access the data with particular to some region. So here I have region. I'll just reduce the size so that automatic will fit everything in one place. Okay, automatic will fit everything in one place. And you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll just... Okay, here you can see, I'll just select everything. So here, when you click some particular graph, a funnel like thing, which you will see is a filter. You can just click on this and turn on the filter on this particular value. So here I want to select based on the category, what is my sales in region, month, profit, which is making more profit, which particular category is making more profit and which particular age group. So if I just click on mobile and tablet, all the graphs will change and all the graphs are showing me the results of mobiles and tablets based on female purchase. Okay. So we will be able to see the highest revenue in the age group of 28 to 37 in the female group. And you can see the South region has the most sales. Okay. 
and in 2020 october we have more sales we don't have any profitable see you can see miss p is the more profitable one with this particular category okay and if you just choose men okay that is the male then also you can see the graph here was 38 something here it has changed the same way i'll just come back okay i'll choose a filter here and choose a particular area okay particular area you can see this is the sales for south region if you want to check for midwest this is the sales which is happening so this is an interactive dashboard if you just want to uh, present it you have a presentation symbol here just click on this it is you will be able to present it and all the filters work here if you just select this particular value okay this particular filter every graph changes if you select in the midwest what is my uh, appliances sold in all the areas you can see two filters have been applied this is how you can use the filters and create a dashboard and you can see here the sales is more in 48 to 57 this is how we will be able to and the state which has highest sales as well has also been changed so this is our dashboard which we have created i'll just remove first i have to remove this particular uh, filter then i'll remove this filter so this is how our particular dashboard looks like thank you so this is about all our first graph first data set which we have studied so thank you so much